Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and this is another week of what sold on Etsy. This is the week of the 4th through the 10th, and it was a pretty slow week on Etsy, but luckily I have some eBay sales to help supplement that. Um, I don't really sell a lot on eBay. I only really turn to it when the item is not really uh, the type that you want to put on Etsy. Maybe it's too new or it's... Um, doesn't really align with Etsy's policies. Etsy has a lot of policies as far as if something's too racial or if it's um, pornographic or whatever the case may be. So I do have to use eBay every now and again. The first thing though on Etsy that I sold um, on the 10th was these two figurines and they're of these Chinese type people. And I don't really know much about them. That's Part of the reason it took so long to sell these, I only ended up selling them for $8. I tried to get much higher and I've just been working my way back down um, as they've sat online. But they sold for $8 plus shipping and they're marked China on the bottom. Next we have this silk scarf. I bought this scarf at a uh, yard sale actually maybe three months ago or more. Um, I paid 25 cents for it. I also purchased a few other scarves. Here's some of them. And it's a silk scarf with really pretty um, graphics on there. And it is all silk, hand screened, hand rolled, made in the USA. $19.95 that sold for. And next up we have a baby bin clock. I love buying clocks. If they work, that's, you always have to make sure that they work. That That is really tricky, um, though, especially if you're at an auction or a place where you can't plug something in and try. But this is a wind-up clock, and it's really easy to, to test a wind-up clock. Um, it glows in the dark. The hands glow. I paid probably a dollar or less for this, and it sold for $14.95. No, it sold for $12.00. It's, it has a little condition issues. If it didn't have any condition issues, I would then put $14.95 on it and it would sell for that. But it's not in the best shape. But it does work. Next, we have uh, these towels. I did not sell all three of these towels. I sold only this one right here. I tried to sell the three as a set, but it wasn't working out. And somebody asked me about a month ago if I would split them up because she only wanted want this. She only wanted this watermelon one. So... I don't think she ended up buying it because a month went by until another person actually bought this one here for $5. So I think I need to relist these other two for $3 and $4 for these two. And hopefully that they'll, hopefully they'll sell for that. If they don't, I'll just keep them. Um, I don't have any problem with keeping like old vintage towels around the house to use. And I don't know how much I pay for these. It was probably in a large grouping of fabrics and towels that I, I got them. So let's just say it paid 50 cents and I made $5. Next we have these glasses and they're green, like 70s glasses. They came with the original box. Um, I mentioned that in the, in the description, I think. Yeah. But uh, I didn't decide to take a photo of it because it was not that exciting. Um, they're smaller. They're only about four inches tall and they're really cool. They're Colony Park Lane wine goblets but the box does come in handy when shipping I was just able to stick them back in their little compartments and then take that whole box and stick it inside of another box so it eliminated the need to individually wrap every one of these with bubble wrap and then make sure that the whole thing was surrounded by paper and go through all that so it was a really easy shipping procedure for those for $24.95 Next up, we have these squirrels. I actually bought both of these squirrels separately. I bought this large one here at an auction for a dollar. And then I bought this little guy here for $2 at a swap meet. And I've sold these before as a set for $19.95. But I've since learned that they can sell for more than that. So I made $29.95 for the pair of these. And they are actually uh, figurines that can be sat like they are, or you can hang them on a wall to look, like, to look like they are climbing the wall with these little holes here. So um, 
that's really cool. And they're from like the 60s period. I just love them. They're so cute. Next, we have these fish. Um, they're marked Japan on the bottoms and they have their cork, cork um, plugs. But they're little fish salt and pepper shakers. I think I paid a dollar for them. I, I can almost guarantee that because I don't like spending more than a dollar for salt and pepper shakers. And they ended up selling for $14.95. I buy a lot of salt and pepper shakers and I sell quite a bit of them too. Um, they're good money makers and they're small and easy to ship. But you just have to be, um, you just have to pay attention to the style of them and make sure that it's something that's currently in as far as trendy goes. I, well, I don't want to say trendy, but this one, for instance, has like a kish look. If you've ever heard that word, it's that, it's that, how can I best describe it? I think kish relies mostly on cute looking eyes and a playful subject matter. I think those are the two basics of a kish item. And so yeah, $14.95. Very nice. Next up is just some peppers. These are pepper, salt and peppers, a pair of them, and they sold for $6. I know it's much lower, but I have non-matching plugs in them. They're not that old and they're not that spectacular, but they would make a great gift for anybody who um, likes hot spicy food or um, that has a vegetable type theme kitchen. Lots of options. Next up is another salt and pepper shaker set. These are modeled after a Corel pattern called Meadow and they have the flowers. So if you have um, Meadow by Corel, these would be the matching salt and pepper shakers. These are made by Westinghouse and they're marked in the bottoms with a W and their little dots on top of the points. And um, they sold for $8. I actually have another pair still listed. That's why it says add to cart. So I have one more of these available for $8 and I paid practically nothing for them, a dollar or less. Lastly on Etsy, this sold on the fourth and it's another salt and pepper shaker, but this is an old style tricycle and it actually comes with the box and it's just a really cute set. They pay $24.95 for this. You can ask more if you have the box so long as the subject matter is um, desirable, I guess you'd say. This took a little bit longer than some others to sell, but it did sell and it sold for a good, you know, good money. $24.95 is not easy to make on salt and pepper shakers. Um, more than likely, more likely than not, you're going to be able to sell salt and pepper shakers for four to six dollars, but it is kind of iffy once you get past $15 um, because you just don't know. It's hard to kind of peg some things. Like I think these are really cute. They're little beehives with bees on top and they're struggling at $12. Little oil lamps here. They're struggling for 10. So you just never know. But the box definitely does help when you can find them with their boxes. All right, on to eBay. So I only sold three things on eBay and they're actually all Playboy related. So I um, had to sell them on eBay. Maybe I didn't have to, but I felt more comfortable to. I don't have much of a, rep a reputation on eBay. But the first thing that I sold, look at that, 19 little, 19 little feedback points. Um, the first thing I sold is this lot of three calendars. These are Playboy calendars from 65, 66, and 74. They are not in the best shape. They have condition issues, um, but they're, you know, all the calendar pages are there. And um, yeah, and Playboy things are already desirable, but the, if you can find the calendars, those um, sell very well. I did not, I decided not to deal with trying to piece everything out, um, which I could have and made more money, but I wanted just a lot, I wanted to lot things together and just get it out. I didn't buy these items. They were part of a lot grouping that I purchased at an auction and they were kind of buried under some things. So it was a surprise whenever I found them, but I sold these for $8.55. Next up is 
a whole nother set of Playboy calendars. These all have their covers, which makes them more desirable. Um, and I was able to sell all of these for $33. So there's really only one, two, three, four, five, six Playboy calendars. And then the two up here are just the covers. They don't have calendars to go inside of them. But I put all these together and was able to sell them for $33 plus shipping. And um, yeah, very nice to get those out of here. They've been kind of setting in a corner. I've been putting off like listing them. But it was easy enough. I put them on a seven-day auction and they sold. This is what I mean whenever I say, um, well, on eBay, I don't have to worry so much about my listing photos. I literally put these on the couch and took a photo of them. So I would never dream of putting something like this on, on Etsy because it just doesn't fit with the atmosphere. But on eBay, the, you know, this is completely normal to have listings like this on here. So I didn't really worry about it. And it, I just kind of wanted to get them in and out. And yeah, $33. Lastly, um, a set of VHS tapes. I bought these months ago at a, at a, uh, what do they call that? Where It's where you um, donate your items to this charity type organization. And then they have a pop-up event, like a one or two day event where you go and you just fill up a bag or whatever, and then you pay them what you feel like paying them. So whenever I was there, I picked up these VHS tapes, and in my mind justified that they would be worth, you know, $2. So I paid them $2 for all of these. But then I've tried listing them a couple times on eBay, and I just finally said, forget it, and I was only able to sell them for $7. I put them up on eBay with a starting bid at $7, and they ended up selling for seven dollars I don't care you know I'm not going to worry about it I'm just not going to buy these anymore but I really thought that new brand new VHS tapes that were old but never used would be worth more than this but I've tried and tried and tried and I'm, I'm done with that so anyways um I hope you liked the video uh this would be not a great week but it's you know a good start things are starting to pick up a little bit more now that New Year's is over and we're past that shenanigans and stuff. So anyway, let me know what you like in the uh, comments below and like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.